Late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel does a phenomenal job of taking on idiot politicians. And one of his favorite targets has always been Ted Cruz. And luckily for all of us, Ted Cruz gave Jimmy Kimmel enough content over the last five days for him to unleash an absolutely brilliant tirade against Cruz on Thursday evening. So before I get into what Jimmy Kimmel said, let's, let's remember how the week started off with Ted Cruz going viral in that video, getting into it with airport, uh, you know, workers. And then the cop had to like intervene because Ted Cruz was so bad that he arrived too late to check into his flight. That's how the week started. And then of course, all throughout the week, Ted Cruz made an absolute spectacle of himself during the confirmation hearings for judge Kentanji, uh, Brown Jackson. So on Thursday evening, Jimmy Kimmel had this to say about Ted Cruz antics over the past week. Ted Cruz, he even out slimed himself this week. On Tuesday, he singled out this children's book called Anti-Racist Baby for promoting critical race theory, which it actually doesn't. He said the book teaches that babies are born racist, which it also doesn't. And as a result of Ted's tirade, that book is now number one on Amazon. And not only is the book selling well, since Cruz's little grandstand, Amazon is also seeing a spike in sales of psoriasis medication, wart remover, nose hair trimmers, male spanks, slug repellent, and mullet combs. So congratulations to Ted. And then he really gets into the heart of it, right? The big thing that kind of ended the week for Ted Cruz. This is good. If you're wondering what Ted Cruz was really focused on during the hearing, somebody got a shot of him on his phone yesterday, searching for his own name on Twitter. How embarrassing. And can you imagine being Ted Cruz and still wanting to know what people were saying about you online? Uh, the answer to that is absolutely not. I would never one want to be Ted Cruz. And if I were, I sure as hell wouldn't want to know what people are saying about me because it was mostly well, rightfully terrible. But what's great about this is that these were all issues that I've covered throughout the week, both here and over at Ring of Fire. Okay. And the reason I say that this is important is because Jimmy Kimmel and I do not have the same audience, right? Jimmy Kimmel has a much less politically astute audience, right? It's an entertainment show. You're not expecting a political audience. So when we talk about these things every day, we're talking to people who want to be politically involved. We're talking to people who want to know what the hell is going on in the world. And I'm not trying to take anything away, by the way, from Jimmy Kimmel's audience. But what I'm saying is these are people who are tuning in to be entertained. They're not tuning in necessarily to learn something, but they do. And he does it through the comedy, right? That's what makes this platform so powerful when he does these things and rightfully calls out, whether it's Jimmy Kimmel or Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene, he's talking to an audience that may not otherwise, we really don't have any way of knowing, but may not otherwise be paying attention to all of these things, right? The Ted Cruz searching himself on Twitter thing certainly is not going to be discussed on network news. But Jimmy Kimmel bringing it up does put that idea, put that knowledge into the heads of the viewers. And that of course is why it is so powerful. You know, much like Jon Stewart did with the daily show. I don't know if everybody remembers, but in the early days of the daily show, it was basically a 30 minute version of the Saturday night live weekend update, right? They made things up. They didn't actually talk about real news of the day with real facts. They would mention a story and then go into all these funny things about it. And they'd send people out to interview, but either way, Jon Stewart changed that into an actual news show. That was also funny. It's just not as powerful as it used to be. No offense to Trevor Noah, but that's why what Jimmy Kimmel does, what Seth Meyers does, this is important and it is necessary because yes, everybody's getting a good laugh. And whether they know it or not, they're also learning a heck of a lot about how screwed up our entire political system truly is. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.